So this is a very uh, beginner's level basic video on Mixing Station Pro. Um, I was just asked how to see more faders on each layer. So right here we have the the um, default factory default uh, Mixing Station Pro um, setup. Basically, as you can see here, this is the factory setup. Eight layers on each channel. So uh, what I'm going to show you is how to edit that. Very simple. You're going to click on um, on a layer and long press. And then this will bring you to the edit screen where you can um, do a few things. You can change um, the, the whatever faders you want by simply pressing over here, pressing the plus key and adding channels. So let's make this uh, 16 channels. Okay. So whatever you press here will be added to the layer, as you can see. So in other words, if I wanted to make it 16 channels plus, uh, let's say, um, an effects channel, okay, reverb, for example. There you go. Um, so now, let's say I wanted to go a little bit step further and I want to go back to that layer edit and I'm going to put you can put a DCAs or blank elements let me show you what a blank element is for let's separate our effects uh, our, our effects return with uh, the blank element so now this layer is 16 channels plus effects uh, left and right on effects one okay so that's basically how you edit it now let's go back into edit again and we're going to change the name let's call it uh, whoops let's call it uh, 1 to 16 and then uh, with effects so there you go so now the first layer is 1 to 16 with effects so now the other question he asked was let's say I want this to be the default setup how do I do that very simple you're going to go back to your layers and hit the this icon here the folder and you're going to save um, save it by hitting plus and naming it so if I want this to be to come up every time I open mixing station pro I'm gonna call it default okay so there you go here it is right here default load it and there you go let me load something else Sorry about that. Let me load something else so that we can see. Uh, <laughs> sorry about this. Okay. Let's say, let's go back into layers and let's uh, let's load. Uh, this is for a show I'm doing. I'm not connected to the mixer, by the way. So um, that's why nothing is named. So as you see here, I have channel 23. 11, 12, FX2, left, channel 3, channel 4. Uh, would be make more sense if it was connected to the mixer, but I'm not connected to the mixer. But anyway, as you can see, this is a completely different setup, and there's different layers over here. We have all uh, voice and, and sequencer, uh, 24 channels, and then all outputs. So that's the setup, the layouts and the layers for this particular show. If I want to go back to my default, um, I can simply go back into layers and the little folder icon and then let's go back into default okay so there you go there's the edit we did with the 16 channels and the effects so now you can go into these and change these the way you want if you want to get rid of some layers if you're not going to need uh, these layers uh, for example these down here because you don't really need to have these layer sets in this case because I've got the uh, here's another quick tip I've got the um, meter bridge up here um, loaded and so all you really need to do is click on the different sections of the meter bridge and that will give you uh, those layers as well so if you want to have your layer custom layer here that's fine okay but if you want to for example let's say I wanted to go back to just channel 1 to 8 again I don't I don't have to make a, a layer for that here a layer button I can just simply tap on the meter bridge and you might ask okay where's the meter bridge um, let's go into app and we'll go into mixer and here it is right here that's where you turn the meter bridge on okay so actually let's go back there and let's turn it 
off. All right. So now, as you see, we have no meter bridge. Let's go back into the app mixer meter bridge on. Now there's our meter bridge, and once again, we can use this kind of as a layers button. Uh, even though the layers are over here on this side, uh, if you wanted to see. Um, depending on the size of your tablet, this is a 12 inch tablet, so a, a Samsung Pad Pro. So I can show all these 16 channels here and these two effects channels, and they still be pretty workable. They're still a good size. But if, if, they, if it was a smaller tablet, like an 8 inch tablet, you might want to either you know, make maybe 10 channel layers or just so you go ahead and use the meter bridge, and this will give you. Uh, big faders in sets of eight. So that's it. Um, check my, my links in the description for custom layouts and videos. Uh, I have a Google Drive with all that stuff posted. Okay, thanks.